Also ahead, a killing without a known motive. A New Jersey City Councilwoman gunned down inside her own car. I'll speak to a friend of hers about what they've learned about the investigation so far. A New Jersey community is mourning the loss of a city councilwoman who was shot and killed in her car near her home. 30-year-old Republican Councilwoman Eunice Dumfor was killed Wednesday night. Authorities have not named any suspects or released a motive. But New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy says this does appear to be politically motivated. I almost hesitate to say this because I don't know this, but there's no evidence that it was um, accidental. It, it feels very specific. It does not appear to be related to her uh, position as an elected uh, councilwoman in Sayreville. Again, please God, it, it doesn't. And, and there you heard the governor say that he doesn't believe that it is politically motivated. Right now, I'm joined by Nelia Rodriguez, who served on the Sayreville New Jersey Human Relations Commission with Eunice. Thank you so much for joining us, Nelia. We are so sorry for your loss. How long have you known Eunice? I've been knowing Eunice since 2017. She joined the HRC uh, because her sister Faith um, brought her in and she was um, in right after her sister. And I've been knowing her since 2017. Can you tell us a little bit more about her? One of her colleagues described her as the embodiment of the American dream with roots in Ghana. She ultimately served her first term on the Sayreville Borough Council. Tell us more about her. Um, she was a beautiful person. I, this is why it's so devastating to know what happened to her. She was very motivated, very positive. A woman that you will want to have her around your children and talk to them because everything to her was nothing negative. A very strong woman of faith, a very caring, loving person where her smile was contagious. Um, she always told you to drive and, and just be strong and never give up. And that's the kind of woman that you want to have around everybody because she gives you that motivation even when you felt down she was still motivating you to just keep going and just at the peak of her life uh, she was a mother of a young girl and just recently married a few months ago i know that you saw her earlier in the day that she was ultimately killed you saw her at the grocery store do you have any reason to believe that she was under threat by anybody that, that anyone would want to harm her she didn't seem when i saw her in under any threat at that moment. I mean, she was very happy, very bubbly. She came to me, she spoke to me. And the last words I remember her saying was, you know, God bless you, pastor. And I said to her, I'll see you at the HRC meeting tomorrow. God bless you. She gave me a hug and. And that was it. That was the last time you saw your friend. It, Have you heard anything more? I, I haven't really heard difficult. anything more. I haven't, haven't heard anything more. I just hope that justice be served for her because she didn't deserve to die the way she did. And you've spoken with investigators, I would imagine as well, having seen her that day. Um, no, I haven't spoken to any investigators. My husband happens to be a detective for Sayreville, so I try not to get into the middle of that um, just because of conflict of interest. And so where do things stand now in terms of the investigation to your knowledge? All they're doing is just trying to find leads to find the killer. Um, they're still trying to search cameras and try to search the area and see if they could find something that could lead them to her killer. How's her daughter doing right now? How's her husband doing? Well, her husband is not in the United States. He is in Nigeria. She got married in November and she was trying to bring him here. So we're not sure how he's doing. We haven't spoken to him or anything like that. I'm sure he's devastated that he just got married and no, now he's yeah. no longer with his wife. Um, his daughter, I can imagine she has to be devastated. I mean, that's her mom and she's only, I believe, 11 years old. Her father, I know he's devastated. i um seen how he's reacting, but everybody's devastated about the whole situation, how horrific it was for this to happen. Well, it's a tragic loss for the community. I know for you as well with your friend, uh, and she sounded like a, a, an incredible woman. Um, we are so sorry, Nelia Rodriguez, for your loss. Thank you so much for joining us.